right, today, the first game of our triple header here on the mountain, paired Utah and New Mexico. This one played out at the Huntsman Center, a place where the Lobos haven't won in 18 appearances. But today is a new day, and New Mexico is battling to stay near the top of the heap. Game on. Let's check it out. Early in the first, Utes running Kim Chilly, the big one-handed dunk in transition. Utah led by three at the break. Back in the four, back and forth in the second half, Jared Giddens comes up with the steal, takes it to the hole, and gets a dunk. Giddens led all with 19. Now Lobo's up by three. Back come the Utes. Luke Neville starts the play and ends the play with a dunk. That's nice. Neville, 16 points. Utes up by just one. But that's when New Mexico got red hot from the outside. Chad Toppert. That's a three, ties it at 57. J.R. Giddens steps back and three-pointer, good. Smith hits a three. The Lobos have heated up at the right time. And that's a Smith three, 17 for him on the night under a minute to go. Spread is six, Lawrence Bohr miss. Lobos rebound. Johnny Bryant gets the steal. Oh my goodness, it is a jump ball call right there. Utes with a chance. Next possession, Johnny Bryant drills the three. It's a three-point game. Bryant scored 17 final seconds here. Utah still down three. Therese Gary misses a second of two free throws. And last chance for you, Tyler Kepke. He needs a three there. Mm. Let's do the math there, people. 72 to 71. That is the final. Ouch! First New Mexico win at Huntsman Center since 1989. To go on a trip at Air Force at Utah. We hadn't won at Air Force in seven years, haven't won here in 17 years. So this is a heck of a performance for our guys. It was gutty. I thought both teams played hard. And we, we've lived and died by that three all year and lived mostly. And uh, we made some really key threes in the last five minutes. We're just having a lot of fun. We're enjoying our coaches and they're enjoying us. And we're just, you know, we're very, we're very close right now. You know, uh, we have a tight bond with each other, and uh, it shows on the road, and that's why we're able to get road wins. And even though we played an ugly game today, we were still uh, able to get a win here. It was a hard-fought battle for both these teams, but the winner was a winner for a good reason. New Mexico fought for the tough points. Take a close look at the offensive rebounds by the Lobos, the turnovers by Utah, and look how the Lobos made those count. That's exactly what we were just talking about, scoring 19 off the Ute sloppiness. But the Lobos didn't just wait to get the ball. They stole it three times as often. All right, looking at that last game, Utah coming off their hard-fought loss last time out to BYU. Now this hard-fought loss to UNM. What does that do to a team, Andrea? Well, I look at it I, I look at it in this way. I look at the fact that actually um, New Mexico came out and really made big plays when it counted. And J.R. Giddens stepped up in the second half and did great things. I don't really look at uh, Utah having lost this. Um, Kepke could have made a better decision in the end. But you know what? UNLV came out or uh, New Mexico came out, hit those three three-pointers back to back to back and that just put a nail in the coffin. And they, they've done a great job at home and on the road of, of making big baskets. And Coach, your thoughts on that? Well, I, I think New Mexico is playing really well right now. To say they're the hottest team in the league may be a little bit of exaggeration if you don't count BYU because BYU is playing really well. A really interesting fact about this series, Steve Alford can't get too overconfident. Dave Bliss came to, to University of Utah, won his first road game there as the Lobos head coach and then lost 10 in a row. Mm -hmm. Steve Alford is now even with the winningest coach ever in the history of New Mexico. No coach has ever won more than one game at the University of Utah on the road. So a monumental win for Steve Alford and his Lobo team. They continue their hot streak. Uh, they are peaking at, at, at a great time, Natalie. Well, got to talk about this team and their outside shooting. The second half of that game, the Lobos came out strong in the shooting. If this team gets rolling shooting from the outside, do you think they are maybe the toughest team to beat, Andrea? Well, I just think that's one of the reasons why they are so tough, period. They can put anybody on the perimeter and, and they can knock it down. They spread people out. And I really liked how then, you know, in the first half, it, they didn't get their three-point shooting going because Utah guarded their perimeter very, very well. They were just very patient. They kept running off of screens. In the second half, they got some open looks because they were patient within the flow of their offense. Just good reads right here. J.R. Giddens was a great read. Uh, his defense actually looked, was gonna, thought he was going to go off the screen down low, and he just pops out. And that was one of the three threes.
that were big at the, towards mm -hmm. the end of the game, thought they did a great job of just just trusting in the system, you know, which has been something that, that, that the team has struggled with in the past, probably. Well, and, and we looked at the stats of this game earlier. Okay, so we know, and you know, Coach, very well, it does not come down to one play. However, you're mentioning <laughs> those threes, and Tyler Kepke, um, if he were to make a three, obviously would have tied up the game at the end there. And, Coach, I'm going to put you on the spot because you do the math. What do you... You know, what's going through the mind of this child and or this guy? And, <laughs> and uh, how do we get past this? <laughs> well, well I, I said, I thought when he got to the three there that he hesitated. He was looking for a kick out there. Then he was committed and he took it all the way to the basket. And as you say, do the math. I think he just... Uh, I think he just had a mental breakdown. I, I, I really think he knew they needed a three, mm -hmm. and but once he had penetrated too far, he was committed to the basket and had to go ahead and lay it up. And just just a, a tough play. That's a tough yeah. break for the kid. And and we, you know, let's just we have to show this. this it came down sure. to this at the end of the game. <laughs> but as a coach, now you go in the locker room and you're dealing with this one on one. Is this something you mentioned in the locker room? Is this something you mentioned to him later on or no? Well, T Tyler knows he made the mistake. You don't mm -hmm. have to bring it up to him. <laughs> know. You know, they, they, Utah played really good. Uh, it was a, a great college game. Again, they're they're playing the, uh, probably the hottest team in the league right now, and the number one three-pointing sh shooting team in the nation. Uh, there, there wasn't a by accident that they hit those three threes to break the game open. They lead the entire nation in three-point shooting. Steve Alford's done a great job. Jim Boylan's done a great job with his team. Uh, this Utah team has lost some. Really Real heartbreakers in the entire league this year back to back tough game down at BYU and this one but uh, they still got a lot of basketball to be played they just need like everyone else to gain momentum going into the conference tournament all right time for us to step aside once again but on the